Today I'm coating some Flex PLA and Super PLA Plus 3D printed airless basketballs with different types of liquid plastic. I'm starting with Plasti Dip and then I'm following it up with Flex Seal. The link to both of these liquid plastics is in the description below. I started by printing four different airless basketballs, two made out of Flex PLA, two made out of Super PLA Plus. The two on the left are Flex PLA, two on the right are Super PLA Plus. And then I started with putting on safety gear because safety first, got to protect myself. So I put on some gloves and a respirator. And then I started with Plasti Dip on the Flex PLA basketball. I tried to coat the ball as evenly as I could. And once I got a solid coat on the ball, I would end up brushing the excess off with the brush. After I was done with that, I would hang the ball up and brush off the excess there as well. Next I used Flex Seal. It was pretty much the same process. I would run the ball through the plastic until I get a solid coat. Then I would brush off the the excess, hang it up, and then brush off the excess again to make sure that I had an even coat and that hopefully the drips wouldn't dry and cause some weirdness with the bounce. I will say it seems like the flex seal was a bit thicker than the Plasti Dip, so I'd get more coverage and then I would get more drip off from these balls, but they seem to clean up fairly decently. I weighed the balls before doing a bounce test on a scale, and the Super PLA Plus with the Flex Seal was 1,032.5 grams. The Flex PLA with Flex Seal ended up being about 44.5 grams. The Super PLA Plus and Plasti Dip ended up weighing about 780 grams. Flex PLA and Plasti Dip ended up weighing about 718.5 grams. So now that we have them weighed, we're gonna do a bounce test. We're gonna start with the Super PLA Plus and the Flex Seal. Before I do a bounce test, I'm just gonna do a drop test. And the Super PLA Plus with the Flex Seal just ended up splitting very first try. I didn't even get a bounce in. The second bounce that I did, it just ended up snapping in half. It was a pretty clean cut down the middle though. That was kind of... Next, I moved on to the Flex PLA covered in Flex Seal. Again, I did a drop test before the bounce test and it expectedly survived the drop test, but the bounce test was a little anticlimactic just because it seems like the Flex Seal did affect the bounce. I just wasn't getting as much pop as I normally do with this Flex PLA, which isn't quite 100% of a normal ball, but I really had to push down hard to get this thing to really bounce. Plus the weight of it was just really clunky, so I don't think it was really much of a benefit to coating it with the Flex Seal. Next I moved on to the Super PLA Plus and the Plasti Dip, of course, to, to do the drop test. It ended up surviving the drop test, and the bounce test actually went fairly well at first. The more I bounced it, the less it rose back up the next time. I believe this is really when it started to crack. After a few bounces and slams on the floor, I ended up noticing that there were some pretty big cracks that were forming and eventually it just started really cracking all around the ball. But I will say the Plasti Dip with the Super PLA Plus did seem to hold up way better than the Flex Seal on the Super PLA Plus. Okay, now I'm moving on to the Flex PLA and the Plasti Dip. We're going to start with the drop test as well. It seemed to survive the drop test just fine. And the bounce test, it seems like it actually did better than the Flex Seal as far as bouncing. I really had to do less slamming to get it up to about waist height. Again, it's still not 100% of a normal basketball, and I would say probably not even 100% of what it would be with just the Flex PLA, which I had shown in previous videos, but at least it did seem to hold up. So just to recap, it seems like the coating on the Flex PLA balls seemed to help durability-wise, but it did also seem to affect the bounce in a negative way, so I don't think I would really recommend coating the Flex PLA unless you were really hoping for durability. I do believe these balls will hold up a lot longer. I really couldn't get the Super PLA Plus to work even after coating them in liquid plastic. I did see on Uncle Jesse's YouTube video that he coated a Super PLA Plus with 3D Gloop. That seemed to have promising results, but 3D Gloop is on back order right now and I don't know when it would be available to try something out like that. But as far as coating these airless basketballs in liquid plastic, it doesn't seem to add much benefit, so I wouldn't recommend it. I decided to try and coat these plastics in different liquid plastics to try it out to see if it would help so that you wouldn't have to. Overall, I would say it didn't really add any significant benefit except most likely some durability on the Flex PLA. In my next video, I'm going to try 3D printing some airless basketballs with some really strong filament, so stay tuned for that coming out soon and if you haven't already be sure to like and share and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.